Hey guys and welcome to this new speed build on The Sims 4 and today I'm going to be building the new house for my Not So Berry challenge. And I've had a lot of fun building this house because I tried something that I've never done before and basically I googled Californian house and I found a couple of pictures that were really inspiring for me to build this house. So basically this is a Californian house or Californian inspired house and I think it suits really well the neighborhood this house is in because it's I think kind of the wealthiest neighborhood of Oasis Springs other than where the land grabs live but yeah I really really love this neighborhood and I wanted for this house to fit in the neighborhood just like I did with the old house my family was living in because I tried to build something kind of 50s-ish for my sims first house and I think I was quite successful at it and I even though I really really loved their house it was getting kind of small for my not so very family to live there and since I wanted for the family to have another child and it was really difficult for me to fit another bedroom in the house and I tried absolutely everything. I tried to add an upstairs but because I had a flat roof on the other house it was looking kind of weird and so I would have had to change the entire roofing of the house and then the house wouldn't wouldn't have been looking like a 50s-ish type of house. Then I thought that maybe one of the sims could be sleeping in the basement but I was feeling so bad to have one of my sims sleep in the bedroom in, in the bedroom in the bas basement that I thought well I'm going to be building for them a new house and I really wanted to try something that I've never done before and I'm really re really happy for this house. So I really really took my time for this one. I think it took me a couple of days, maybe three days to just build the house and start to furnish it because in the middle of building I realized that I've forgotten half of all the furnitures that my sims had. So I thought that I would just bring all of their furnitures with them and furnish the house once they would have moved into the house. So the furnishing of the house is actually cut in half. There's a half where I'm just trying to remember what they had and what I would like for them to have new. And then there's another half when the family has moved in and I'm furnishing with all that I've taken from the old house and put into this house. Because there was also some pictures that we've taken of the family. There was also some inventions that my sim, my min sim, because yes, I forgot to say this, I'm still on the min generation, but the rose generation is now born. And so this is why this house is mainly mint and blue, it's because I'm still in the mint generation. But there's some hint of rose and pinkish colors, especially in the bedrooms of the children. Since, you know, they are from the rose generation, I thought it was, it, it made sense. So I actually forgot what I was talking about. Um, yes, yeah, so the furnishing of the house, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's good in half and there are some pictures that I, I will be placing all around the house and some inventions. And there is also a basement that I've added at the end of the build because I first did a small office thinking that maybe most of my sims inventions and work re 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 reward <laughs> would be fitting in it. But it was actually really small and, and so I thought since she's, since she's kind of a scientist, crazy scientist, I thought, why not just make a basement and she would be the only one who would know that there is a basement there and she would go there, even though, even though there's no doors or anything, you know, she's the only one allowed to go there. And so right now, as you can see, the house is, or at least the architecture of the house is mainly over with and I just really like how it's looking. And I think it goes really well with the neighborhood. And it actually took me a long time to figure out what kind of wallpaper I wanted to use for the exterior because I wanted to go for something quite light but also not too light because a house I think doesn't stay really white that long because of maybe pollution or you know the age and the air and all that all of that kind of stuff and so white houses I'm not really a huge fan huge fan of those so yeah I tried to go for something maybe more earthy looking since it was actually how the houses that I took my inspiration from were so I just wanted to fit that style and also I've used a few different items from Jungle Adventure because I thought it was really suiting this idea that this is a Californian house and for some reason I thought it was looking really great and I didn't really got the opportunity yet to build a 
vacation lot for my sims to go to in Selva Dorada. And it's not because I don't have the time, it's because I don't have the inspiration. I don't know what to do. I had an idea at some point, but I actually forgot it, so yeah, I don't know what, what kind of build I could, I could do. But there is actually a lot of nice builds already on the gallery, so I'm just using those and I'm really really happy with what I find. So yeah, now I'm wor working on the backyard and they have a pool because they had a pool on, in the other house and I barely used it. And I think you know that this is a family that would have a pool and since they're living in Oasis Springs, I think this is a pretty warm world, I think. You know, they would be pretty warm and hot, so they, from time to time they would like to go and swim to cool off a little bit, I think. But yeah, and also, as I was building the house, I kept thinking about the fact that there was two lots that were bigger than this one, because I'm building on a 30 by 20 lot, and I could have built in onto a bigger lot, but if I did so, I think the house would have been too big, and I don't like playing in big houses, I get lost at some point. And I wanted for this house, you know, to be quite cozy, but still bigger than what they had before. And also, something about this house is that there is only one bathroom. So I will have to try and figure out something to fit another bathroom, at least downstairs, because it's going to be an issue, since my sims are going to be four living in this house, it's going to be really difficult when one needs to go into the bathroom and the other one needs as well. Or maybe I can just add a bush outside, maybe I can do that. I guess it would be easier to just add a bush outside <laughs> rather than adding a, a bathroom inside. But what I was thinking... Oops, sorry, my cat just passed by. Hello, cat kitty. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what I was thinking actually is that I could just add a bathroom or a toilet in the basement and that my sim Phoebe, my min sim, could be the only one able to use it. And yeah, this is what I was thinking about. Also, something pretty weird with this house is that when I uploaded it fully furnished in the in, on the gallery, apparently there is a piece of custom content in the house, but I don't know what it is because I don't have any custom content with furnitures, so I don't know what what that's all about. Maybe because I had my sims moved in and my sims were wearing some custom content, but I, I doubt it. You know, I've used sims before who were wearing some custom contents on them and uploaded the, the houses onto the gallery. So then I thought that it was maybe there was some paintings, some pictures, photo photography, photography, sorry, some paintings from my children that maybe were considered as custom contents. So I don't know why that is, so what I did actually is that I uploaded the not fully furnished version of the house on the gallery and then I re-uploaded the fully furnished version of the gallery. So I cannot place a link in the description for you to download the fully fully furnished version of, of this house, but you can find it under my origin ID which is Majam11 and I will try and tell, give you, you know, all the informations to find this house in-game, but it's really really weird and I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, now we are on the inside of the house and at this point I was just trying to figure out how I would fit all of the furnitures inside, so I thought actually that Phoebe, my sim, already had this couch, but actually she had another type of couch and I thought that I would just replace this one by the old one that she had, but then I thought since she's kind of a hippie, classy kind of girl, I thought this couch was perfect for her. And also, as I was building the house, I was just going back and forth from the inside to the outside and so on and so forth. This is how I usually build houses, you know, I kind of get bored at some point focusing on one room and then I need to move on to another one. And this is what I do usually when I build, so it's actually kind of weird to be looking at something like that because when I usually look at speed builds, I see the, the builders and the simmers focusing on one room and then move on to another one and so on. And this is not how I build and I don't know. I don't know if that's weird for you guys to be watching at something like that. You know, it's not really regular in a way. But on the other hand, this is how I build and I need to say also that it's really difficult for me to, to edit a video like that. So I'm making my work way difficult just by doing something that I usually do. So I'm just thinking that maybe I should try and focus on one room at a time. But... 
I don't know, sometimes, you know, I focus on a, on a room and then I move on to another one and then bam, I have another idea for the old room. So I need to go back to that room and change the things. And there you go. So now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the entrance room because it's a really small space. And I really wanted for this house to have an entrance. And I would have liked maybe for the entrance for, for, the, for the entrance room to be bigger, but I don't know. It was really difficult to fill to fill a bigger entrance room into the house. So this is why it's really small, and I'm just going to place a small table in it, and you know maybe places that you can put your, your keys in or something like that in a mirror. Also, if you want to check out yourself before you go out. So yeah, this is what I. Pr pretty much did and then I'm just furnishing the house with minty items and I also tried as you can see to fit some rose and pinkish color. I also placed some yellow because even though I'm still not on the rose generation you know I just wanted to have some signs of the next generations to come. I thought it was pretty cool so this is why I did it. And also as usual I actually forgot to place uh, pet items in this house but I will remember that later on but I'm just going to try and fit them all around the house and yeah I think that's pretty much everything I had to say about this house and honestly I'm still really uncomfortable doing makeovers not makeovers voiceovers <laughs> I'm still really uncomfortable because in a way I feel like I have a lot to say about the house but on the other hand there's some moments in the house that I don't have a lot to talk about and yeah, you know, it's kind of awkward. I don't want to leave a blank in the video. I feel like it's kind of weird. But you know, I'm just trying to have a chat with you and it's still quite difficult because I still don't really know what I want to talk about or maybe what you want to have me talk about to you. I don't know. So if you have any questions or anything you would like me to talk to you about, I would love to share that with you. So please tell me in the comments. But yeah, in any case, I think I told I told you everything I needed to, t to tell you about this house. So I'm going to leave you here. Don't forget to tell me in the comments what you think about this house. And I will try and remember to link to you the not fully furnished version of this house in the description. And also tell you how to find the fully furnished version in the description as well. But yeah, I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. And I will talk to you in the next one. Never.